With a population of more than a billion and an economy that is still outgrowing the world, India is the place to be for any marketer. But even the most experienced CEO will tell you that it is tough to understand the Indian consumer given all the different markets within markets here and the myriad tastes one has to cater to. So how does a company that is as consumer facing as Britannia remain relevant? I'll give you a very simple example, which is something that is unfolding right now. You know, we said that what happens if we were to think about a biscuit, not as a grocery item that I eat at home, but as an anytime, anywhere, anyone consumption. And we then said we can't then be selling biscuits in packs, which are 18 biscuits and 24 biscuits. We have to create on the go or immediate consumption packs. So that led to creating packs of three or four biscuits. Then we said we can't market them the way we market grocery items. We've got to put them in jars or in other dispensers and put them at the cash till. That completely changed the way we thought about our category. Our category is not necessarily a planned purchase grocery item, but it is an impulse purchase. I can have a biscuit on the go, I can have a cake on the go. We translated the same insight into cake. We've got individually wrapped cupcakes that you can buy, put it in your bag and take it to school. We took the same insight into our dairy products where we've launched uh, under the Tiger Zor name, Tiger Badam Zor and Tiger Choco Zor, which are individual you know, drinking shots if you like, something that you can carry in your handbag, something that you can take to school. These products stay well in ambient temperatures. Which is interesting because it kind of shows the evolution of a consuming populace also. Oh, because absolutely. you know, as you become you know, more affluent, you know, health concerns mm -hmm. are more important, etc. But what are the insights that you've got about the Indian consumer? Because you know, one can be very confused because there's so many Indias. Who do you deal with and how, how do you cater to it if you're a company the size of Britannia? You know, you use the word confused. I'll use another word. I think the opportunity in India is that almost at every price point, you have a large consumer base. So we've got a large number of consumers at a two rupee, five rupee price point. We've got an equally large, not equally large, but a large enough base of consumers at a 350 rupee price point. I mean, that's the beauty of operating in a market like India. You know, the numbers are large, so that even if large numbers of people consume a little, it adds up to a lot. And I think the challenge there is to say we can't be everything to everybody but we've got to be something to most people most of the time some of the time or at all times for an fmcg company facing a rapidly evolving consumer the challenge is to keep up with the changing times and with the market becoming increasingly global it's now that much more important for a company to innovate but vinita believes part of the challenge is also to stay true to a clear value proposition that she believes has allowed the company to open up categories within categories. So what is, what is one product where you had to recalibrate because, because of, of, of this ever-changing dynamics? Well, there are actually we've in a sense recalibrated a lot of our biscuit business. We've taken quite seriously what used to be a slogan and made it the credo of Britannia, which is Swasth Khao Tan Manjagao. And that meant asking some deep questions on what was not good in our product. So the answer was trans fat. So we removed trans fat. Then we said, what can we add to the product to make it better than what it was? And that was the addition of certain micronutrients. NutriChoice is a great example of uh, a brand and a product that used to be a thin arrowroot biscuit, became a high fiber digestive, became a five grain, became a nature spice cream cracker and then ended up becoming a diabetic friendly product which has a low glycemic and we've just launched uh, some savory snacks under the NutriChoice uh, brand. Product innovation and expansion has been integral to the growth of Britannia. In fact, over the last year, the company has introduced as many as 40 new variants of products of different kinds and sizes. But as it does this to grab a piece of every Indian's wallet, so does its competition, which is as nimble, as brand expert Harish Bajur points out. 
today's biscuit market, you really talk uh, three big names. You really start with Britannia and then you talk Parley and then you talk ITC. Uh, I mean that in terms of saying, you know, core competency, uh, ability to uh, attract attention to the category in a big way, ability to mine customers, ability to put out products, and ability to fight uh, rolling up your uh, salesman's fist and fighting it out in the marketplace. So if you look at it that way, I mean, you know, competition is very, very close to Britannia. Parley is particularly in the glucose segment. Parley is, of course, very, very uh, nifty, very, very uh, fight oriented. And, uh, you, you know, Britannia has a mirror image of its entire product profile uh, both ways. You know, there is a mirror image in Pale. Pale has a mirror image set of products which Britannia has. And on the other side, ITC has built a mirror image of products as well. So the upmarket mirror image is really with ITC and the down market mirror image is really with uh, Pale G. So if you really look at Pale, I think that's going to be the tough one to fight. Whereas ITC is going to be an easier game because it's more a branding game, whereas Pale is more a selling game. If this is the competition from its big Indian competitors, Britannia faces the heat from others as well. The international brands may not have the scale and spread of Britannia and its peers, but brands like this have huge marketing spends and growing recall and market share. No wonder that Britannia is looking at broad basing itself and looking at new opportunities. Britannia, Zindagi Mein Life.